So we're filming this video for the second time today because I didn't realize that my camera had stopped filming, so that's fine. If you're looking at the big giant red bump right there, that is not a breakout. I hit myself in the head with the tripod while, I'm, while I was setting up today for this video. It is into the afternoon and I sat down to try and do this probably five or six times today. Then I did it and then it stopped filming. I'm done. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here again today. If you are new here, my name is Amber. On this channel, we talk about fragrances. Lots and lots of different subjects on fragrance, my favorite fragrances, things that I'm loving at the moment, things that I don't think you should spend your money on, things that I'm discovering, sampling, and today we are actually gonna talk about fragrance oils for the first time. So I have three different fragrance houses to talk about here and I have six fragrances total. Why someone might choose a fragrance oil as opposed to um, a, a fragrance in a spray form. Some people find the, uh, the alcohol content in fragrances to be really irritating to their skin, people who have seriously sensitive skin. Um, sometimes it dries out their hair if you apply fragrance to your hair as a lot of us do or sometimes that's the reason that people really start to get headaches from fragrance is the alcohol content. It might not be the fragrance it's itself, Sometimes it is, but sometimes it's just that alcohol content. 99% of the time, fragrance oils are alcohol free, but double check, do your research. Um, so that might be a great option for you if you really are trying to enjoy fragrance, but it, you just can't for those reasons. So the first four that I have to talk about are all from the brand Al Rehab, but I have four of them here. And so I'm just gonna jump right in. So the first one that I have to talk about is called Tootie Musk. It's just such a funny name. So I bought this because I really wanted something fruity. I wanted something fun. I wanted something that was really appropriate for the hot weather that we've been having. It feels like a wet armpit outside. I'm not even kidding. It is super humid. It's like 90% humidity. It started raining right when I first started filming this. Sometimes you need a specific type of fragrance to cut through all of that. And I really was hoping that this would be it. I do enjoy it, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna use this for layering rather than wearing it on its own. So it is really, really fruity, which I knew, but it's actually really tart. So it's almost sour. It's super, super, super tart. So I can't say that enough. This is not going to be like um, thirst quenching kind of juicy fruit. So the notes in here are rose hip, black currant, and pink pepper. And then the, the middle notes are raspberry, black currant, and white lily. And then there's musk and vanilla in the dry down. Forget about all of that. It's just raspberry and blackberry, but it is, well, and a little bit of black currant too. Super, super tart, super fruity. It's very, it's a very, very red, very red berry type of scent. It's not bad at all. I actually really enjoy this, but it's not enough of what I wanted on its own. So I think it's gonna layer really well with some other things I have in my possession. So if that sounds really good to you, then that is 2D Musk from Al Rehab. Also, these are all roll-ons. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, and if I'm super honest, these are kind of scratchy. So I'm not a fan of putting these on directly on my skin. The way that I like to use these the best is I will just roll and roll and roll in my hand until I have a good amount of oil and then I will apply it wherever I want to. Um, so that's something to think about. I'm not sure if you could pop that cap off or not and just you know dab if you wanted to. Um, two of the other ones that I have to talk about are not rollerballs, so there's different options out there. The other one that I have to talk about is really interesting. This one is called Golden Sand, and I really, really like this one so much. And I think that this is the perfect name for this scent because it smells, I don't even know how to describe it, and I don't know if this is gonna make sense, but it smells like hot sand. And it smells ambery and a little bit vanillic but warm, ambery, vanillic, hot sand. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's amazing. It's really unisex. This leans, this is right down the middle with like leaning like a touch masculine, but I don't care. Um, I'm gonna wear this like crazy. This was made for hot weather and it even smells really, really warm. So the notes that are listed for this are a little bit misleading in my opinion. There's caramel listed in, in here or caramel, whatever. Um, there's vanilla, amber, Oud, which I definitely don't get, 
and floral notes. I guess I get a touch, I can't even say I get a touch floral. It's really like a resinous, dry, warm amber. I don't get caramel. I Like I said, I get a little bit of vanilla. It's like amber stones, like really, truly resinous amber. Not thick, not syrupy. This is not gourmand. It's not powdery. Yeah, it's just a warm, resinous, vanillic amber, and it's so, so lovely. And I don't think I've smelled an oil that smells like this before. So that is awesome. So I highly recommend that one. That is Golden Sand by Al Rehab. The next one that I have to talk about is really, really nice. This is called Dalal. Dalal. This one also has caramel and vanilla listed. This one is probably, I still don't get a whole lot of caramel and vanilla. It's more so than Golden Sand for sure. This is a lot sweeter than Golden Sand. Golden Sand is not sweet. This is um, caramel, vanilla, orange, and sandalwood. It's not in the vein of an orange, orange creamsicle. This is probably more orange sandalwood. It's juicy, it's sweet, it's not house cleaner kind of citrus. It's juicy, sweet, a little bit vanillic, a little bit, a little bit smooth. It's definitely not like a sharp, pungent citrus. So it's like a, a sweet orange sandalwood. And I really, really like this. It's really perfect for hot weather. And if you like citrus, if you like sweet citrus, then that is a really good choice. That is Dalal from Al Rehab. The last one that I have from this house is not a stranger to the fragrance community at all. This is Choco Musk. And I see, a I see this come up a lot when people mention chocolate perfumes. And as the name would suggest, Choco Musk, I think that was their goal. But um, something I forgot to mention that all of these that I'm talking about, I don't know if this is the case for all of the oils that this house has to offer, but at least for these four for sure, there is a spray fragrance that matches it. It's the same scent. But please keep in mind that if you guys go to purchase them, like for Choco Musk, for example, it's the only one that I have in the, in the matching spray. They do not smell the same to me. They're very, very similar but they do not smell exactly the same at all. So to me, this is just a thick, heavy vanilla fragrance, and I love it, I love it. My husband says this one smells like vanilla cupcakes, and I, I, I have to agree. It's really comforting, it's really cozy, it's really warm and sweet and inviting. Um, it's not juvenile, but it is really sweet. It's thick, heavy baking vanilla, like it's really sweet. Now, the fragrance spray, to me is much more chocolatey. It's more of like a dusty cocoa powder with vanilla. So if you're wanting something that's more chocolatey and you chose to go for this, I would say, in my opinion, this is more, if this is chocolatey at all, it's like a white chocolate vanilla. The Choco Musk is much more cocoa powder, milk chocolate type of vibe. So just something to keep in mind. I don't know what the other three sprays smell like. So just keep that in mind. They're Similar, but not identical. So anyway, so Choco Musk is milk chocolate, vanilla, white musk, cinnamon and sandalwood, amber, spicy notes, myrrh, and rose. I don't get a single touch of rose in here at all. I don't get any musk at all. I get maybe a little bit of the cinnamon, like a touch of the cinnamon and sandalwood. There's a little tiny bit of like a dusty woodsiness in there. It's It claims to be milk chocolate, but it's, it's more like vanilla with dusty cocoa powder to me. If there's any spicy notes, they're very, very quiet. It's not a super spicy. And I think it's interesting that myrrh is listed in here too, because myrrh can be very vanillic. Um, sometimes it can go very like church incense-y, which is awesome too. But a lot of times if it's on its own, it can just be very vanillic. Um, so yeah, this is definitely vanilla heavy for sure. The spray is much more chocolate heavy. So that is Choco Musk from All Rehab. The next one that I have to talk about is my first experience with this fragrance house. This is from Swiss Arabian and this is called Gadir. Um, I did try another one that I actually returned. It was not bad, it was actually really beautiful, but on me it was just a little bit too masculine. So I really love the presentation of these. These just feel very luxe. Now on Amazon, I think I purchased this one on Amazon. So on Amazon you're gonna pay anywhere from 
15 to 25 dollars they're each they're each different prices so anywhere from 15 to 25 i don't think there's any that are more than 25 but if you purchase from the swiss arabian website directly i think they're 14.95 each which i'm kind of bummed out that i didn't know that <laughs> so anyway purchase from the swiss arabian arabian website and you will save a little bit of money i don't know if that includes free shipping or not so anyway so the cap comes off and thankfully there's still a stopper here which i really appreciate the stopper is plastic so that's something to consider but the the bottle itself is glass so and then that's how you apply or you can just you know dab it with your finger mm. so this one is what i really really wanted for summer this is giving me all of my satisfaction with juicy citrus fragrances i love a good citrus when it's juicy and almost like thirst quenching. I don't like an astringent house cleaner citrus. I just don't. So the top notes in this one are mango, blood orange, and nectarine. And you get a ton of that. It is, it is rich, thick, syrupy citrus. It's so, so good. It's so good. It's, it's like biting into fruit on a hot day. There's nothing better than that. The middle notes are raspberry, lotus, apple, and water lily. Definitely get the apple because there's like this cool wateriness to it. Um, in the base notes, there's coconut musk and sandalwood. I don't get any coconut, which really bums me out because it's probably one of my favorite fragrance notes ever. It can take on so many different personalities in fragrance, but I do not get coconut in here even in the dry down. So if you're getting your hopes up on that, it's not coconut. Those top notes stick around forever and that's what I feel like they, that's what I feel like you get with the life of the fragrance. It is just, it hits you in the face with that mango, nectarine, blood orange goodness. And then apple just keeps it like nice and watery and bright and refreshing. So good, so good you guys. Get your nose on Gadir from Swiss Arabian and buy it from them directly. So good. So the next one that I have to talk about is my first exposure to this house as well. I've heard a lot about it on YouTube and on social media. But nothing, nothing ever appealed to me about this house. Anyway, this is from our moth and this is tag for her. Now this also, the Swiss Arabian oils do not come in a spray fragrance. This also comes in a matching spray fragrance. This is of course an oil and it comes in this little drawer. And this is how the fragrance is displayed. I feel like this is very luxurious for the price. I think this was $30 or less. It's a pretty big bottle. So the glass is very, very heavy. This is very heavy feeling. And the lid is like um, like a prism. It shows like a like a rainbow effect there. And then this, the bottom has like a felt stopper on it. So it's not just gonna slide across your table and go crashing to the floor, which is wonderful for people like me who drop everything. So this is really heavy duty glass. This is like a weapon. If someone breaks into your house, you grab this bad boy and you go for the temples. This is gonna, <laughs> this is like a weapon for sure. So the lid is um, screw on, which I really, really like. And first of all, look at the level of, of juice in here. This is an oil, obviously. I have used this probably 20 times. I'm not kidding. I've used this for the last few weeks, 24 seven, and this is gonna last me forever. So this, this dabber is glass, which I really appreciate too. This is really nice quality. Um, I don't know if our moth feels this luxurious across the rest of their things. I have no idea, because like I said, this is my first exposure. This is so gorgeous. The reviews that I, were, that I was reading about this said that this was a dupe for Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Now we all know how I feel about light blue <laughs> and not to drag it through the mud too hard, but it was just not what I wanted it to be with the, des the description of it versus how it translated on my skin. That was definitely house cleaner territory and it was not, it was bug spray. It was not good on me. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. This is like lemon and orange beautifully combined. This is gorgeous. This is juicy, refreshing, really, really citrusy, but not house cleaner whatsoever. This is it for me. Oh, okay, so it's not lemon, it's bergamot. So bergamot, neroli, and pink pepper. Interesting. Orange blossom, and then in the middle notes is orange blossom, jasmine, rose, 
honeysuckle and iris. I don't get an ounce of iris because this is not powdery whatsoever. And then in the base notes, it's listing vanilla, caramel, musk, and labdanum. I do not get caramel in this whatsoever. This is super bright, neroli, bergamot, citrus. I was venturing to guess that this was lemon and orange together because it, it, the bergamot translates really lemony in this. This, the formula on this is really good too. I forgot to talk about the formula on these. So for Al Rehab, this is a thicker oil for sure. You're gonna be a little bit on the greasy side. If that's your thing, you do you because I certainly do. Um, so those are a little bit thicker. These two are gonna be a little bit more of a thinner formula and you can kind of see that the way that they move is, is a little bit more on the watery side. So if that matters to you, if you don't like the texture of oil on your skin, I would go for Swiss Arabian or the tag Her from our moth because these really soak into your skin, but this being a light citrus stays around all day long. I'd say for each of them, I'd give them like five or six hours. For an oil, I think that's really fantastic. But yeah, I'm so surprised at the longevity of this because it is so light and airy and you are not gonna run out of this anytime soon. If you run out of this, then you must be bathing in it. It's awesome. <laughs> so that is Tag For Her, which also comes in a spray and that is from our moth. So from Al Rehab, from Al Rehab, there is another one that I purchased called Soft. And I didn't talk about this one in this video because I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it, if I'm honest. I really don't know. Al Rehab just keeps saying that there's caramel in all of their fragrances and I don't believe them. This one is not for me. I think, I think I'm coming to the conclusion that this one is not for me. So I like this one in the first minute or so, but it turns ultra powdery floral. It flirts kind of with the baby powder category and I cannot say it enough, powdery fragrances make me gag. I cannot handle powdery fragrances. And so this is super, it is soft, <laughs> but it's like baby powder soft. So if that is your thing, if you, I know there's some people who live or die by the smell of baby powder. I cannot stand it. I've never once used anything that smells like baby powder on my baby. And if you like the smell of baby powder, this is gonna be really great for you. There is sort of like a touch of like a sweetness to it for a minute. It's not sweet. Just for a second when you first apply it, there's like some kind of sweetness in there in the background, but that fades immediately. And it's like a soft powdery baby powder floral. So if that's your thing, definitely check out Soft from Al Rehab. But I think I'm gonna pass this along because it's just not my thing. All right guys, so that's all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you learned something cool. I hope you heard about some oils or some fragrances that you haven't heard about before. I will definitely be exploring all of these houses much, much further. And I just find oils to be really fun to use and really great for work because it doesn't create like a scent bubble around you. You're not disturbing the people around you, but you get to enjoy your fragrance all day long. And so, Anyway, I just really have been loving these. Hope you guys check some of those out for yourself. Let me know if you like any other fragrance oils. Have you tried any of the ones that I've talked about today? And is there any other ones that I need to check out further? So, so that's it for me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.